Hello, it's the 22nd of March today and what I'm going to show you today is how to sow your squash. Now I've got lots of different varieties of squash here today, in fact I've got three different ones. Um, I've got butternut squash, hawk one which I've grown um, I grew last year and I got uh, 22 I think um, which was brilliant um, some rather erotic shaped ones as well um, and then I've also got some jumbo pink banana <laughs> Uh, which will be interesting, which I've never grown those before, and then a mixture of different courgettes and squashes here. I grew these last year. Um, we had some wonderful different varieties. Um, some are small and some are larger, but they're, they're lovely um, to grow. So you'll sow these um, any time from sort of the middle of March to sort of the middle of April. Um, you can sow these straight outside, but if you are going to start them outside, I would suggest that you wait until the beginning of May um, at the very, very earliest. Uh, personally, I prefer sowing them and starting them off inside because the, um, the they tend to grow better. Um, so uh, we'll we'll just see. Uh, it's entirely up to you whether you prefer to sow them outside. The germination rate, if you sow them inside, I tend to find is, is much, much better. Um, but I'm just going to show you um, how to sow one of these and then I'll show you each of the seeds, the packets, um, as and when I come to them. Now, I'm going to sow them in a three inch pot. Just fill your pot right to the top with multi-purpose compost. And then once it's full up to the top, then just give it a gentle pat down. Now the first ones that I'm going to um, plant are the jumbo pink banana ones. And these are the seeds. Most squash seeds look exactly the same. They just vary in size. Now I'm going to plant one of these seeds per pot. Now when you plant them I suggest that you plant them sideways like this you've got your circular end and you've got your you've got your pointy end there okay it's always best to plant them on their side like this not flat like that if you plant them flat like that the likelihood of them going rotten because the water sits on the top is quite high so it's always best to plant them sideways so we'll just push it in the middle, put it in the middle and just push it down about an inch and then just cover it up just like that. So there's that one done. So I'm just going to carry on with the others and I'll show you uh, the other varieties um, when I come to do them. And these are the butternut squash, the hawk um, F1s. They're much, much smaller than the previous ones that we've just sown from the jumbo pink bananas. Um, but again, the same principle, sow them on their side. However, because um, these ones are much smaller, I would only put them about half an inch um, under the soil. And finally, this is the um, mixture um, selection of squash you can see that there are ones of all sorts of different shapes and sizes there's smaller ones and there's much larger ones the larger they are the large ones i would put about an inch down and the smaller ones i would put about half an inch down in the soil the good thing about this is that you get a lovely mixture of all sorts of different varieties so you only need to buy one packet uh, there's approximately 12 seeds in here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 oh there is 12 seeds um, so it's th there's all sorts in here um, so if you want a nice variety then these are the ones to choose now once you've sown them all make sure you label them so that you know which ones you're going to be getting and then give them a good water okay well they should 
start breaking through the soil in two to three weeks depending on the um, the temperature that we have um, it's nice and warm in here at the moment it's actually 20 degrees in the greenhouse which is fabulous it's definitely not that outside it's about nine or ten degrees but because the sun is shining it's getting lovely and warm in here um, you won't need to cover these unless of course you're due a frost and then I would suggest um, if you don't have some of the propagator lids you just put a little bit of fleece across the top of them okay but I will keep you updated on their progress um, and hopefully we'll get lots of lovely different varieties of squash like I got last year um, and I can show you them well I hope you found that useful and I look forward to seeing you soon bye bye